Today, two local high schools look to advance in Lakeshore Public Media's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. Who will advance to the semifinals in this quarterfinal match? Will it be Hobart? They're one and know in the tournament so far. Or Andrean, also winners of their last game. We will find out shortly because this edition of Making the Grade is coming up next. From safer communities, to admirable performances. We power Northern Indiana, so you can do what moves you. This is season number eight of Lakeshore Public Media's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. I'm your host, Andy Schultz, and today, eight of the best and brightest students in Northwest Indiana look to push their team into the semifinal round of our tournament. Of course, what's at stake? The tournament winner receiving the coveted Making the Grade trophy, as well as scholarship money generously provided by NIPSCO. Who will advance to that semifinal game? Will it be Hobart? or Andrean. We'll find out shortly. We'll have a chance to meet our contestants a little bit later in the show, but we're gonna get this game started right now, get some points on the board with our first round that we call question and answer. This is pretty simple. I give the questions, you give the answers. Buzz in if you know it, five points for a correct response. There's no penalty for an incorrect response. We'll just give the other team a chance at those points. All right, here we go, let's play the game. Hands on buzzers as this quarterfinal match starts now. It is different from sudden cardiac arrest that causes a major organ of your body to simply stop. Give the common two-word term for a myocardial infarction. Matt from Hobart. Heart attack? Heart attack is the phrase we're looking for. Five points for Hobart. And here we go, five more points here. This world's largest inland body of water is home to sturgeon, a fish whose eggs are made into caviar. Name this Asian body of water Evan from Andrean. Black Sea. Uh, not the Black Sea, I'll finish it for Hobart. Name this Asian body of water bordered by Iran and Russia. Alejandro. The Black Sea. Not the Black Sea, looking for the Caspian Sea. Five point clue coming your way. Name the 19th century German composer, famed for his extravagant works, who had already written several operas before starting his four opera set about the ring, of the Nibelungs. Richard Wagner. Five more points at stake here. This unit is the last name of the German physicist who studied the relationship between voltage and current. Identify this unit. Matt from Hobart. Watts. Uh, not Watts, I'll finish it for Andrean. Identify this unit defined as one volt per ampere of electrical resistance. Evan? Uh, ampage. Uh, incorrect, looking for the ohm. That was the measure, or the unit of measure, pardon? Give the term for the figure of speech that states two things are exactly like each other without using the words as or like, as a simile would. Cade from Hobart. Metaphor. Metaphor is correct. Five points for the brickies. And you are on the board again. Which one of the original 13 colonies had James Oglethorpe as its first? Miranda from Andrea. Georgia. Georgia is correct as their first governor found the southernmost colonies as a haven for debtors. Five points for Andrea, And you get your first five of the game. Here we go. What Jane Austen novel begins, it is a fact universally acknowledged, Miranda from Andrean. Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice, yes, five more, and we're tied at 10. Spell the grammatical term simile. Cade from Hobart. S-I-M-I-L-E. S-I-M-I-L-E, yes, five points for Hobart. You jump back into the lead. He marched through Florida's Lake Okeechobee during the Seminole War in mud up to his waist. Name this 19th century U.S. president who was nicknamed Old, Rough, and Ready. Evan from Andrean. Jackson. Not Jackson. Hobart. Nate. Garfield. Not Garfield. We were looking for Zachary Taylor. 
What type of wool that comes from goats is often made into expensive sweaters? Evan from Andrean. Cashmere. Cashmere is correct. Five points for Andrean. Up to 15 now. What are called counties in most U.S. states are called parishes in this state? Evan from Andrean. Texas. Not Texas. I'll finish it for Hobart. Name this state hit in 2005 by Hurricane Katrina. Alejandro. Alabama. Not Alabama. It was Louisiana. Parishes in Louisiana. Five more points at stake here. Its second act shows how George buys Emily an ice cream soda in high school. Name this play, Cade, Cade from Hobart. That's all right, Our Town, that is correct, by Thornton Wilder. Five points for Hobart, that does it for our first round of play, where Hobart, with that correct response, jumps in to the early 20 to 15 lead. We'll put a bookmark in the game, come back to it, as we take a moment to meet the class. Let's do that now. Cade, uh, after that correct response, we go to you first. A senior from Obert High School, you're going to attend IU South Bend next year. What are you going to study there? Uh, his, uh, sorry, social studies education. Social studies. You're fired up about that answer. Oh, yes. I can, I I can hear it in your voice. That's good. And you're into theater now, which I can guess now is why you got the art town. Yes. That's good. And quiz bowl as well. Keeps you pretty busy. Yeah. All right, well, good luck with all of that. Thank you. Good luck in the future and in the game as well. Nate is a senior at Hobart, and uh, you're into hiking. Yes. Right? Video games, swimming. Yes. A lot of, a lot of diverse activities there. Which one is yeah. kind of your go-to? Um, my go-to for when I can't go hiking is video games yeah. normally because sometimes like hiking and go out to the dunes, I've walked all the trails there, but sure. like, I can go back and get a new video game. But and, and you have a statement that you wrote in your bio. I don't know if you wanted me to actually read this, but it says, Maybe the quote, the I am one. Batman and oh. also Iron Man. That's what it says. Well, um, uh, Aren't you not supposed to reveal that? Well, the second one maybe, but like the first one is a little more on the down low, but we gotta be careful about I'm that. I'm Iron Man. <laughs> it's all right. Nate, glad you're here. Good luck the rest of the game. And that's, that's a unique fact. I'm glad to know that you're both of those. It's Alejandro, a senior. Quiz bowl. Yep. Spanish club. Mm -hmm. And a fact about you. This is interesting. You can't spread jelly on toast. I cannot. So or we, anything we talk, else for that. We talk with everybody about what they're great at, but I want to know why you're not great at this. You know, do you use a spoon? Do you use a knife? Do you swather it? I don't really <laughs> know. A, that's not a, a word. Quite a conundrum. <laughs> I don't think there's any toast spreading going on in this game, so you should be okay. It hurts me every day. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a wound that we shouldn't touch anymore. Matt, a senior from Hobart, you play guitar. Mm -hmm. What do you? What kind of genre do you like to play? Uh, classic rock. Nice. I love it so much. Who's your band? My band? Uh, well, it's not classic rock, but it's uh, Blink-182. Yeah, That's sure, band sure. To to. It's almost classic rock now, the way that things cycle through. Don't. That's like from my, <laughs> my era. That's awesome. That's awesome. And you remember the psychology club. Mm -hmm. So what do you do in psychology club? Do you guys just analyze each other? How does that work? <laughs> um, right now, uh, I'm vice president of the club, and uh, sure. right now we're trying to arrange a suicide walk to help raise awareness for it. We don't really do that much fun experiment right now since... Yeah. Uh, our school has been kind of like hectic, but yeah, we're getting, sure. we're getting back to it. That's yeah. good. No, good causes there too. Uh, Hobart is coached by John Brumley. Good luck the rest of the game, Hobart. As we head over to Andrean, talking to Evan, who is a freshman, and uh, you are looking to receive your pilot's license. Yep. You have 25 hours already of flying experience, and you're how old? 14, 15? Uh, 15. 15 years old. So when do you think you'll be done with that? Uh, probably by my 17th birthday. And what, what do you want? Do you want to be a commercial pilot oh, or no. just for fun? Yeah, just for fun. Just to fly yourself around? Yeah. That's awesome. Well, good. How long have you been doing that? Uh, about six months. That's awesome. Six yeah. months. That's good. I would trust you. For sure. Tommy, an Andrean uh, junior. You play soccer? Yeah. You play on the team? Yeah. Okay. What position do you play? Outside back. Defense. Outside back. Sure, sure. We've got, the, got all the hard workers here on the team that are all playing mm -hmm. defense. That's great. And you play video games? Of course. Talked a little bit about your Fortnite experience. What else do you play? Uh, Rocket League. Okay. All it's right. like car soccer. Sure, sure. It's pretty fun. Nice. Playing on Battlegrounds. It's do you like play the FIFA video game as well? Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's it. You have to. That one's fun. That's a rule. Oh, Who yeah. do you play as? Uh, Chelsea. All right. Makes Big sense. Chelsea fan. Makes sense. <laughs> Kelechi is a junior at Andrean, a member of the student government. You're a student ambassador, and I yep. understand you've even done some traveling to some foreign countries. Oh, yeah. I've been to Canada and Nigeria. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. And when did you go to Nigeria? I went to Nigeria about when I was seven. My family still lives there. Okay. So, yeah. A good experience? Oh, yeah. It's really Enjoyed fun. It. Beautiful country, yeah. I'm sure. Awesome. Well, good. Good luck the rest of the game. Glad that you're here. Miranda is a junior at Andrean, and you had two movies that you listed as favorites. Mm -hmm. You said The Matrix. 
and The Conjuring. I want to ask you about The Matrix. That's kind of a heady film. Do you really yeah. can, you feel like you get to, it's a thinker, like there's mm -hmm. deeper layers every time, or yeah. is that kind of why you connect with it? Uh, I like the deeper thinking in it too, but it also has a lot of really great action scenes sure. in it. Sure. Do you ever want to get into like production of film at all? Or? Um, no, not really. No, just want to I just like it. watching movies. Sure, and The Conjuring, you like a good scare mm -hmm. once in a while too. Mm -hmm. All right, well good. Good luck to the Andrean team the rest of the way. They are coached by Jay Price. All right, as we move on in the game now, five more points apiece for correct responses in our second round that we call Pop Quiz. This is a one-on-one -on -one competition. It'll be Matt versus Miranda, Kalechi and Alejandro, Nate and Tommy, Evan versus Cade. We'll just circle back around to Matt and Miranda after four questions. No conferring with our teammates here. It's a pop quiz, which we all love to walk into a classroom and hear that there's a pop quiz that we did not plan for. So here you go. It's our version of it. Miranda and Matt, five points apiece on all of these. The first one goes to you. A cloud band called Beaver's Tail is among the things a chaser would look for when estimating its path. Identify this type of storm that causes damage by the rotation of air. Miranda from Andrean. Tornado. Tornado is correct. Five points for Andrean. You get the game. Alejandro Kalechi, this one is for you. Replace the word good or bad in this sentence to make it grammatically correct. Here you go. If your team wins this game, you will be the good in the whole state. Kalechi. Best. Best, of course. Absolutely. Five points for Andrean. Tommy, Nate, this one is for you. Give the design term for light fixtures that are installed in hollow areas of a ceiling instead of hanging down from the ceiling. You guys aren't house flippers right now? Recessed light fixture or can lights. They're beautiful. Evan, Cade, for you. You can often tell one of these is coming from a hot spot on your foot or hand. What ailment caused by friction can often be prevented with gloves or properly fit socks and shoes? Cade from Hobart. Athlete's foot. Incorrect. Evan? Go Callus. For Go ahead. Callus. No, we were looking for blister. Matt and Miranda, this one is for you. Her namesake London Museum offers a program where actresses tell of her life and why she went to the Crimea. Name this 19th century British nurse. Miranda from Andrean. Florence Nightingale. Nightingale, correct. Five more points for the Niners. You extend your lead. Alejandro Kalechi, for you. What cooking term means to lift things when you're mixing them together, such as in a salad? Alejandro. Toss. Toss is correct. Five points for the Brickies. Nate and Tommy, this five point clue is for you. His ship, Matthew, arrived in what is now Newfoundland. Name this explorer. An Italian, in spite of his English sounding name, whose son Sebastian was also an explorer. John Cabot. Cade. Evan. The largest city in what Asian country's province of Goa is named for Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama? It was India. Matt and Miranda, back around to you again. Give the name used from 1946 to 1991 for this Central European country whose republics included Slovenia, Macedonia, Serbia, and Montenegro. Miranda from Andrean. USSR. Uh, incorrect. Matt, go for it. Soviet Union. Not the Soviet Union, it was uh, Yugoslavia. Former Yugoslavia. Alejandro Kalechi, for you, spell the word libretto, meaning the lyrics sung in an opera. Kalechi. L A B R E T O, libretto. Incorrect. Alejandro? L-I-B-R-E-T-T-O. That is correct. L-I-B-R-E-T-T-O. Libretto. Five points for Hobart. To Nate and Tommy. What piece of equipment under the hood of your car lets it go both forward and backward? It has the main types, manual, which uses a clutch, and automatic, which does not. Tommy from Andrean. Transmission. Transmission, yes. Five more points. Back and forth we go. We've played two rounds. Andrean, with that correct response, jumps in front in a very tight quarterfinal game. But more points coming your way in our third round that we call Class Project. 
This is group work if you'd like it to be. You could confer with your teammates. You may not want to for speed, but you can. Three clues all pointed toward one answer. I will read them in order. If you can give it to me after the first clue, it's worth 30 points. Two clues, it's worth 20. And after all three clues are read, it's worth 10. Each team can respond at each level with no penalty. Here we go. Everybody's back in, hands on buzzers. Three clues, one answer, 30 points. He commanded the 7th U.S. Army that liberated Sicily during World War II. Evan from Andrean. Patton. That is correct. General George Patton. 30 points for Andrean. And you jump up to 65. All right. Everybody's back in. Three clues, one answer. 30 points. Its center is usually a different color than the yellow petals that surround it. Matt from Hobart. Sunflower. Sunflower is correct. 30 points for Hobart in what might be our fastest class project round ever. Two clues, 60 points awarded. All right. Last set of three clues in this round. Everybody's back in. 30 points on the first one. As a plural, it refers to your sanity or common sense and can be something you lose. Miranda from Andrean. Wits. Not wits this time around. Matt. Psyche. I'm sorry? Psyche. Psyche is not it. 20 point clue. As a singular, this word is a limestone used in architecture. Kalechi from Andrean. Marble. Marble is correct. You can lose your marbles. 20 points. Kalechi for Andrean. And you jump to an 85 to 60 lead after three rounds of play. But you guys have both played the game, and you all know all the points come here at the end. Our final round that we call final exam. Take a look at the board. You see them, six categories sitting there, each containing five questions, worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points, respectively. The team that last answered correctly will be the one that chooses where we go. Of course, we choose, uh, we go in order in each category, question or uh, point wise. But again, the team that controls would choose. However, this first choice is going to go to Hobart because you trail in the game. So Hobart, which 10 point clue would you like to start with? We're going to go with government for 10. Government, 10 points. This branch of the federal government is currently supervised by Donald Trump. Evan from Andrean. Executive. Executive branch, 10 points for Andrean and you kick us off in this round. You control the board. So stick with government for 15 or go somewhere else. Government. Government, 15. In 2017, this Colorado judge joined the US Supreme Court. Neil Gorsuch, Andrean. 20 in government. In this government system used in France under several kings named Louis, the monarch has all the power. Nate from Hobart. Absolute monarchy? Yes, we'll accept it. As absolutism specifically was the term, but yes, that was good enough. 20 points for Hobart, and it's your board. Um, we'll go with the law. The law, 10 points. In most locations nowadays, if you're under 18 years of age and driving a car with four seatbelts in it, this is the maximum number of people that can legally ride in the car. Cade from Hobart. Four. Four is correct. One per seatbelt. Ten for Hobart. You control. You trail by five. We're going to stick with the law. The law. Fifteen in that category. Give the legal term for a person who works for a government and tries to prove a criminal case against a defendant. Evan from Andrean. Prosecutor. Prosecutor, yes. 15 more for the Niners. Your board. Back and forth we go. What do you guys Government. 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 25 in that category. This job in local government may hold an inquest to determine the cause of someone's death. Cade from Hobart. Coroner. Coroner, yes. 25 for Hobart. A tight game. You lead by five. Um, we're going to go to music for 10. Music. 10 point clue there. This classical jazz piece, suggested by band leader Paul Whiteman, has a piano solo first played by its composer, George Gershwin. Matt from Hobart. Piano man. Not piano man. <laughs> Evan. Take five. Uh, no, we were looking for Rhapsody in Blue. Hobart. Um, we're going to go with the law. The law, 20. This penalty, often given instead of jail time, will put you in jail if you commit another crime during a certain time period. Evan from Andrean. Uh, parole? Uh, not parole. Cade. Probation. Probation was the term in this case. 20 points for Hobart, and you control it. 
Do you want to, can you one point chemical chemical elements. Elements. We're going to we're gonna go to chemical elements. Chemical elements, 10 points in that category. Found in meat and fish, a lack of this element in Cade from Hobart. Iron. Iron, yes, abbreviated F-E. It is your board after those 10 points go your way. Um, we're gonna go with British literature. British mm -hmm. literature. In this Shakespeare play's last act, Petruchio says, Miranda from Andrean. Taming the Shrew. That is right. 10 points for Andrean. You control the board. Petruchio, the giveaway there. The law. The law, 25. Give the term for an illegal alien's being sent back to his home country. Nate from Hobart. A deportation. Deportation, yes. 25 for Hobart. You control the board. You're up to 170. Um, we're going to go with music for 15. Music, 15. Before this opera, based on a Shakespeare play, was finished, its working title was Iago. Nate from Hobart. Uh, Othello. Othello, 15 points for uh, Hobart, and you're up to 185, your board. British, British literature. British 15. literature, 15. This is the first name of British author Mary Shelley's poet husband. Cade from Hobart. Henry? Not Henry. Evan. William? Not William. It was Percy. Percy, Bish, Shelley, Hobart. Mm, we're going to go to music. All right. Your lead is 65. Music, 20 here. This German romantic composer is famed both for his relationship with Robert Schumann's wife, Clara, and for his famous lullaby. Miranda from Andrean. Brahms? Yes, Johannes Brahms. 20 points for Andrean, and you control, go ahead and just hit that a couple times. There you go. You're bored. Um, what do you guys Government. Government. 20, uh, 30 points will wipe out the clue. This government agency is charged with regulating radio, television, wire, satellite, and cable in all 50. Matt from FCC. Hobart. Go ahead again. FCC? Yes, that is correct. Federal Communications Commission. 30 points you control. Um, we're going to go with uh, chemical elements. Chemical elements, 15. Nitrogen's atomic number of seven puts it horizontally between these two elements, numbered six and eight. Evan from Andrean. Oxygen and carbon. That is correct. C and O. Evan, 15 for you, and the board is yours. The law. The law. The law, 30. Wipes out the category. This legal document, considered a landmark of basic political rights, was signed in 1215. Miranda from Andrean. Magna Carta. Magna Carta, yes, yes. 30 points. It's a tight one. What would you like to do? Chemical elements. Chemical elements, 20. Element 113, Nihonium, was discovered in this country whose name in its language can be pronounced Nihon. Kalechi from Andrean. Japan. Japan, yes. 20 points for Andrean. You trail by 10. Chemical elements. Chemical elements, 25. The dioxide form of this lightweight transition metal is used to make many common items white. Cade from Hobart. Carbon? Not carbon. Evan. Uh, fluoride? Nope. We were looking for titanium, T-I. Andrean, you control. Chemical elements. Chemical elements for 30 wipes the category. This metal between iron and nickel in the periodic table adds a blue color to its compounds and Nate from Hobart. Cobalt. Cobalt is correct. Yes. CO, 30 points for Hobart. A big strike for you. What would you like to do? Um, we're going to go with pre-calculus. Pre-calculus. You might want your pencils and paper for these. Here we go, the 10-point clue. A 10-foot ladder set at a 17-degree angle with horizontal has its top just reached the top of a tree. If the sine of 17 degrees is 0.29, give the height of the tree to the nearest integer. It was... Three feet, three feet. Hobart. Five. Music. Right up. Music for 25. Music for 25. This key's key signature is one flat. In time? No, sorry, Clutchy. F major, or D minor, actually. Hobart. 
going to go back to pre-calculus. Pre-calculus, 15. The determinant of a two by two matrix where the top row is five and negative 10 and the bottom row is eight and negative 11. Whew, I gotta be honest, I don't even know. I don't even know what that means. Uh, 25 is the answer. <laughs> just right here. Hobart. British literature. British literature for 20. This spy writer's first major success was the spy Evan from Andrean. Roll doll. Uh, is not. I will finish it for Hobart. Their first major success was the spy who came in from the cold. John LaCara. And that's the end of our game. Hobart by a score of 245 to 205. A winner today, and you will advance to the semifinals. But a great run for both teams and a great game played by both teams. Congratulations to all eight of you. That'll do it for this edition of Making the Grade, and we will see you next time. From safer communities. To admirable performances. We power Northern Indiana, so you can do what moves you.